Hey guys, Alan here. I'm the founder and CEO of CrewFire. And in this video, I wanted to share with you a quick recap and review of 2020 and a preview of what's to come here over the next few months and quarters over 2021. So let's jump in. So 2020 was, to say the least, you know, a very strange and, and weird year for the world. And it was certainly life-changing for us. We actually started off 2020 working on a different business. We had a different business with two different products in it. And at the beginning of the year, when things started to really get strange with the world and with the economy, we, we actually realized that that business wasn't going to make it. We ended up selling one piece of the business, one product line, and then we uh, shut down the other business. And at the beginning of the year then, like around March, Frederick and I went full-time on Crew Fire. And so... You know, we planted the seed, if you will, and we just started reworking it. Uh, we reworked everything about it, uh, the product itself, the positioning, how, are we, how we were communicating it to customers, what the acquisition funnel looked like. At the time, you could have gotten into Crew Fire with a free trial and without talking to anybody, and we found that that wasn't really conducive to success with the product, and, and we weren't learning anything. And so we started, you know, we took down the free trial offer, and we started, you know, having conversations with with potential customers and really experimenting. We were talking to customers and learning about the needs and the pains in the market, and then we just started creating new features and new marketing around serving those customers, uh, and. It really started to click. We in July we started pre-selling what we came to call Crewfire 2.0. We launched Crewfire 2.0 in September, and here's a graph of our revenue over time here. And as you can see, you know, really June and then July we really just hit it, and um, and we started essentially nearly doubling revenue, uh, double doubling bookings every month since July. Um, and somewhere in there you can see the downtrend there. That's where we. Um, that's not replatforming. That's where we started to realize that we needed to focus on customer success and customer support and building out the team to support this growth. And so I took my, my foot off the gas in terms of marketing and sales to hire out our first team member, uh, customer success team member, Taylor, and then, uh, and then lay, further lay foundations. Another thing that happened in 2020, and this was a lesson learned, but we launched a new version of the product, essentially another new version after the Crewfire 2.0 release, Crewfire 1.0 was built in a programming language called Golang, which is kind of a, a newer, innovative programming language kind of on the frontier. And in order to move forward faster and up so that we could scale the team and, and uh, build the product out faster going forward, we decided to rebuild the platform in JavaScript. So entirely, you know, start from scratch and, and replatform this thing in a new programming language. We launched that replatform in November, and there were some growing pains around that. We learned, uh, we, we shipped it, and we thought that we had done a good amount of QA and testing, and we came to find once the product hit production with our customers that there were a lot of issues that we didn't turn uh, didn't discover in our QA process. And so we learned the hard way that if you're going to do and launch a replatform, you need to QA the shit out of it and really, really make it sound before it goes into production. Um, but you know we worked through that, and we have a long way to go. But it's uh, but the pro the product is looking more and more solid every week that passes, um, and so we are, are that set the foundation for a strong year ahead here in 2021. This is a quick picture of some of the people that have been uh, along for the journey over the last year. Um, it started out just Frederick and I. Um, in the middle, we have uh, Kyle, who's running uh, managed services for some of our customers. On the top right, we have Taylor, who's our customer success manager. Bottom right, Michael Beaton. He's an advisor to us um, and has helped and assisted with growth and sales. And in the bottom left, we have Vung. He is our uh, was our front end developer. He worked with us for a few weeks and months, helping us helping us uh, reposition some of the some of the product features. And then in the bottom middle, uh, Frederick, my business partner in Crew Fire. Um, and so, yeah, that was 2020 in review. And with that, we'll move forward looking here and talk about what's coming in 2021. So um, for our customers, the most important thing is the product. And we have some big plans for the product. We are proud, but never satisfied. And so here's what's coming. So we have a lot of product improvements and product fixes that are in the pipeline. Um, we are 
going to be streamlining streamlining and smoothing out a lot of the there are there are remaining issues and bugs and quirks with the software and that's just not going to do for us so we are um, right now in a sprint to iron out a lot of these kinks um, that still remain in the product from the replatforming um, but we're, we're very very close to that um, and then with that out of the way the real fun begins and now we get into a design and usability overhaul so as you can see on the right this is a preview of what's coming with our ambassador mobile experience it's going to be beautiful and buttery and smooth and we're going to or uh, a lot of the user flows for both the brand side and the ambassador side are going to see a lot of improvement over the coming quarter really and here in the next few weeks we're going to be hiring in a new team member which we'll talk more about uh, team and company growth in the next slide um, but uh, but our like main priority is making sure that the product is just best in class and delivering a ton of value for our customers uh, and then we have a, just a slew of new features coming. So we have new activity types coming for brands. So brands are going to be able to ship different uh, activities that their ambassadors can execute in order to help grow the brand. Uh, we're going to be improving and expanding on our community feature. We think community is really the core of these ambassador programs, and we have a lot of room to grow to make Facebook or sorry, to make Crewfire community is something that could really be held up against a Facebook group as, uh, as where you really want to own your community. Next, we have improvements coming to messaging and communication. Right now, we offer email and SMS messages, and they're a one-way communication, and we've got some fun things in store for how brands can keep in touch one-on-one -on -one with their ambassador team. Uh, next, we have notifications. Right now, we have email and SMS notifications, and we have some fun stuff in the pipeline in terms of making notifications even more powerful so everybody can stay up to date and we're driving the desired outcomes from ambassadors. Uh, and then uh, more data, metrics, and stats. So right now, what, the data that we're showing from things like social media, things from activities, uh, it's a bit limited on the brand side, and we recognize that. And as part of our design overhaul, a lot more data and stats are going to come to the brands so that you can really see the impact that these ambassadors are having on your brand. Uh, and then last but not least, a deeper integration with the e-commerce platforms that we integrate with. So today it's like mm, primarily Shopify. Uh, we're gonna expand that to WooCommerce and Magento. And a lot of the things that we can do as we expand on these integrations, it's gonna be some really exciting stuff. So we have some really powerful features in the works for brands and ambassadors uh, in terms of product over the next year. And then in terms of our company, a lot of fun stuff. So with our vision and mindset, we're consistently challenging ourselves to think bigger and longer term. As you can see, you know, if you look back, remember back to our revenue graph, we started the year off at a very kind of humble bootstrap uh, level, if you will, and we were thinking accordingly. And what happened, what we realized is every step along the way, as we started to think bigger, it started to pay off, uh, you know, in terms of in terms of our growth, in terms of the customers that we were working with, in terms of the impact that we were having for them. And seeing these, you know, these, the ROI come back for our customers. And so, at every step along the way, we just kept challenging ourselves. What if we, what if we just went a little bit bigger? What if we just went after a little bit of a bigger customer? What if we tried to do a more ambitious product update? What if we tried to uh, change our pricing plans and change how we're pricing? And at every step along the way, our reality shifted, and and our business grew as a result of this shift in mindset. And so really a lot of what we're doing over 2021 is thinking how big can we take this? And, uh, and so we're thinking bigger and longer term over time. And we're working backwards from these big goals, these big ideas and thinking how do we build our business, our product and, our, and the culture around satisfying that vision over the long run and so this is a this is a growing this is a fun part of, of, of running and growing a business like this is we get to we get to challenge ourselves and, and really you know run this business as a an exercise in self development you know how how much can we control our mindset to create this future uh, and then to support that growth we're going to be building out the team so we have. Uh, new team members coming in in terms of engineering and product to help us realize the product vision and the product potential. There's so much work to do there to really build the best, again, best in class product on market, something that e-commerce brands are going to really just see the value in and just drive tons of value for them and also for the ambassadors too. Um, and then in 
uh, leadership in terms of our business. We have we have some areas of growth in terms of bringing on leaders in operations, sales, and customer success. So a lot going on there, and then continuing to just lay strong foundations for the rest of the year and and for honestly, three, five, 10 years ahead. How big can we go? How long-term can we think? The work that we do over the next year is going to lay the foundation for that growth. And so we're extremely just, there's a lot of energy, a lot of momentum right now. And we're looking forward to taking that momentum and that energy and working with our customers hand in hand and, and our team members, current and future, uh, and just realizing that vision together. And so it's an exciting year ahead, 2021. Things are looking good. We got off to a little bit of a strange start here in the US, but the, the, the light is at the end of the tunnel in terms of things like the, the pandemic. We have vaccines going out. And so it's, we really have a, you know, a lot of optimism going into the year ahead, uh, and we're excited to be building and growing alongside of you. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, my name is Alan. If you're interested, check out CrewFire at CrewFire.com, and we'll see you on the inside. Thanks.